Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College at the Life Cathedral of Zoe Chapel of it. I'm still on the Christmas roll, and uh, I am bringing you thoughts about Christmas, everyday principles. Christmas can be a story, or Christmas can be an event, but Christmas can also be principles that we can take and run with. And my purpose is to bring you the principles of Christmas. There's more of a Christmas rule. So let's roll with Christmas and just enjoy the good news or the principles that are invested in the whole event of Christmas. For me, it is not just an event. It is not just a miracle. It is more than that. And there are principles. Now, in Luke chapter 2, verse 6, if you remember, Mary, and, and, I'm, and I'm very enthralled by Mary. I'm, I'm very, very... Uh, what we call curious about Mary. I mean, the whole thing, you know. Now, Mary um, is told that she's going to be pregnant, and, um, and, and she just takes it, and, and that's it. Now, for me, the Holy Ghost spoke, or God spoke, and Mary got pregnant. Now, if there are things of God, you get it, and God spoke. Now, I was, I was thinking that immediately God spoke, for like two months, three months, no, Mary's pregnant, no. You get that's with something also supernatural about the, the whole process. But Mary had to go through nine months just like everybody else. Mary had to go through nine months of pregnancy. So the pregnancy was divine but normal. The pregnancy was supernatural but normal. And that's the theme for my this thing, uh, uh, divine but normal divine but normal. So God was doing something supernatural. God was doing something very, very powerful. But it had to go through a natural process. And Mary has to go through everything a woman goes through. That is nine month, uh, nine month pregnancy period, patient, let's say, baby jumping in the womb, baby creating discomfort, sometimes maybe pro probably throwing up, they call it hyperemesis, and all those other things, you know, and going through all the motions, and going through everything that a normal woman, pregnant woman, will go through. Yet it was divine, yet it was supernatural, but God allowed it to go through a natural process. So here's the principle. God may want to do something for you, but you might need to go through a natural process. God wants you to, to be rich, to be fantastically rich, but you need to go through a natural process of working. So nothing is going to fall from heaven, bam, on your this thing. It must go through a natural process. God wants to, 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 um, to raise you. He has promised you you are going to be a king or a prime minister in Egypt. But you go through the natural process of a slave servant in another person's house, a slave prisoner in a dungeon, before you become a prime minister in a palace. So there are some natural processes that God, when God wants to do something, he is not going to circumvent those natural processes. He's not going to undermine those natural processes. He's going to allow you to go through so that that thing will go through a normal process. Because that normal process is filled with a lot of learning things, things to learn, new learning materials, and you need to go through it. So here's the thing. It is divine, but it is natural. It is God doing the work, but he's using the natural to fulfill it. And that's what he does. We, here on this earth, are divine purposes of God in a natural body to execute the plans and purposes of God. So sometimes those of us who believe that just by opening our mouth, the Bible says, open your mouth and I'll fill it wide. We believe that we we'll go and stand outside, open your mouth, ah, and then God begins to fill it. It doesn't happen that way. Those of us that have uh, prosperity, uh, prophetic, uh, this thing uh, placed upon us, I will bless the work of your hands. I will bless the work of your hands. So there are things that God will do. He'll pass it through the natural process. So it is divine, but it has a natural process. Concentrate on the natural process. God wants to raise Lazarus, but he's going to go through a natural process. Roll the stone, then I call him out. There's a natural process of rolling the stone. Then I'll call Lazarus out. So it is divine, but natural. Don't throw away the natural because it is divine. That's how God works. See you later.
and enjoy the Christmas.